Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are excited to bring to you another brand new video. Today, we will talk about how you can grow your Instagram page organically. We will cover important unpaid methods of gaining new followers and growing your page. Make sure to stick with us till the very end because each of these points is equally important for your Instagram growth strategy. Let's get started. Instagram has transformed over the years. With the launch of Instagram ads, Instagram TV, and business accounts, this app is now used by influencers, marketers, and businesses for promotion on a global scale. Nowadays, people use Instagram as a medium to connect with their friends as well as their favorite brands. In a study, it was found that a large number of people search for brands on Instagram, and 80% of them follow at least one brand. There are two ways to increase your follower base on Instagram, that is, paid method and the organic method. We will mention a few notable methods of growing your page via the organic method. The first one is by building a brand image. There is always somebody out there trying to do the same thing as you. That is why you need to set yourself apart from the game. You need to build a strong image and provide a unique value to your target audience. One of the best ways for your business to stick out from the competition is by engaging customers. You might want to try creating a clear, consistent brand story that connects with the people in your target audience in a personal way that looks good. You want to present yourself professionally, so you need visuals that look right and generate a good first impression. One of the most important things to keep in mind is branding your Instagram posts because people should be able to recognize you as soon as they view your posts. The next method is to gather a list of related accounts that is similar to your niche. Draft a list of all major competitors and accounts on Instagram that speak to the same audience as you. For example, if you're in the fashion industry, you could compile a list of all major fashion bloggers in your niche. Start analyzing these accounts. Check what they post when they post, what type of images or videos are getting the most likes, what are they talking about, how are they engaging with their audience, etc. If you are an individual who wants to grow on Instagram, it's important to make sure that your account is focused on a niche. When companies or brands will see that you have a good engagement with your followers, they'll be willing to reach out to you more for collaborations. Generate your Instagram name tag. The Instagram name tag is a scannable code that makes it easier for people to find your profile and follow you. In this way, people do not have to type out your username in the search bar. You can add this scannable code to your packaging, business cards, signage, or anywhere you want people to see it. After scanning, the user will be redirected to your Instagram profile. This is a great way to advertise your social media account offline. You can find your name tag after you click on the three-line icon on the top right corner of your profile. Relevant hashtags. While starting out, people tend to use all the hashtags that they can think of without taking into consideration whether it goes with the brand image or not. This is not a good way to improve your reputation on Instagram. Your profile might even stand the chance to get restricted if you overuse hashtags that are irrelevant. Improve your hashtag game by creating your own hashtag which your audience will find relevant and can even use if they want to mention your brand. You can track your target audience through these hashtags. You can also use hashtags in your stories. This is also a good way to improve your reach and generate brand awareness. Research thoroughly about the hashtags that are popular among your target audience and find out more about the hashtags used by businesses in the same industry as yours. Join Instagram engagement groups. There are different communities that help you get more engagement and followers on Instagram. These groups are present on Instagram itself and on apps like Telegram. These groups have an agreement among their members that whenever any of the group members upload new content, the other members of the group help out by liking, commenting, or sharing that piece of content to increase each other's engagement rate on Instagram. There are groups that have rules that one has to follow to participate, to make sure everyone gets the most out of each post. If the engagement group has a lot of members, then you'll stand a chance to grow your profiles faster. These efforts from the community members help you to appear faster on the Explore page. 
thus increasing your profile visibility. Post using the carousel feature of Instagram. According to Hootsuite, carousels use up 17% of Instagram feeds. They are three times more engaging and have 1.4 times the reach of regular posts. People have a tendency to scroll past your still images more quickly as compared to the carousel posts. The engagement of carousel posts is more because people scroll through the images which generate their interests, and in maximum cases, the viewers end up engaging with the post in some way or the other. This factor sits well with the Instagram algorithm, thus raising the popularity of your post. Creative captions help a lot in increasing your followers. Think of a caption that is not only amusing but also something your readers will be able to read through. Coming up with captions to grab the attention of the users can be time-consuming, so here are a few tips which you can follow to frame your captions. Beginning your caption with some keywords or important points can be eye-catching, which will make your audience want to read it. Using good questions as captions can also be beneficial because people might find it interesting and answer it. Make your captions pop by using emojis, but make sure not to overuse it. The length of the caption should also be at an optimal length. Too long or too short captions might not always work. See what works best for your audience. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and found these strategies useful to grow your Instagram. Comment down below if you can think of more strategies so that we can help each other out. Let us know if you want to see more topics like these. See you in our next video.